Here's why you need to use a VPN. This is part four of my internet hygiene series, and I'm going to explain the importance of using a virtual private network. Right now, I'm assuming most of you are connected to internet, considering you're watching this video. This means that you have an internet provider like Verizon or Xfinity, allowing you connect to the internet. Without a VPN, your internet service provider can monitor any traffic and link it to you like you watching this video. Most of the time, this doesn't really matter with just watching YouTube and whatnot, but this does mean that the government, whenever they want to, can see what they're doing. And not all governments are quite as free as others. There's also an added element of there being no reason why my internet service provider should log everything I do and keep track of it. There's also a lot of countries that aren't allowed to access certain websites. Like for example, you can't access Twitter if you live in Brazil, Russia, China, North Korea, and a few other countries. Using a VPN and setting your location to somewhere like the United States or anywhere that Twitter is allowed will allow you to bypass this government restriction. On top of this, it locks your traffic in an encrypted tunnel, making it nearly impossible for the government to see what you're doing. It's not all sunshine and daisies, however, because most VPNs are complete garbage. Remember the general rule that if something is free, it's probably you that's the product. If a VPN is free, that means they're probably selling your data, which completely negates the reason of using a VPN in the first place. A YouTuber I really respect named Louis Rossman uses the VPN called Molvad, and I personally use Proton VPN. I would recommend doing your own research, however, and looking for a VPN that does not store any logs.